guys uh, welcome to my channel this video is gonna be a tough one to record and get through um, one I'm actually sick I'm not just using tea as a prop I'm leaving for EDC Orlando tomorrow and I, of course I woke up today with a cold what are you gonna do um, if any of you guys are new to my channel and this is the first video you have found me through I hope you stick through the whole thing and hear me out and I welcome everyone who watches this to be open and you know please sound off in the comments today with your thoughts on everything that we're gonna be talking about um, I host a weekly podcast called rave culture podcast and in that I have a section called EDM news where I address any hot topics or basically things that are happening in the EDM community or the industry and I decided that I'm gonna carry that over to my YouTube channel I'm sort of going to make this more of like my hot takes on things that are happening in the community and breaking news uh, and I'm going to be starting with this video. As many of you may know, um, in March 2018 there was an artist known as Datsik. He's a dubstep producer. In March there were many allegations against him of sexual assault, sexual misconduct, um, and I believe there were rape allegations as well. Within a matter of three days at the time, this all exploded on social media. Many different things fell out after that happened, um, and one of them being that Datsik basically disappeared. And yesterday, he resurfaced with a seven-minute apology video, if that's what you want to call it. But basically, it was addressing where he's been uh, and what changes he's making moving forward. So with all of that being said, today I want to talk a little bit about what happened. I'm going to very lightly touch on it because there's so many news articles on it now at this point. If you guys like didn't really hear about it the first time, definitely go look into it a little bit more. And then I'm really going to give you guys my thoughts and honest opinion and reaction to his video and how I really feel about this entire situation and him as a person. It's 8 a.m. right now, you guys. It's too early for this bullshit, let me just tell you. But uh, I do want to just say this disclaimer, I am in no way a drama channel. Um, my channel is a very positive space. I love the EDM community with all my heart. I've been a part of it for years. Uh, I just really like to give you guys the facts and tell you what's going on and give my honest opinion and I'd be a person that you can hopefully trust and respect. So in Mar on March 14th, 2018, this is when it all exploded, there was a woman who came forward, I believe, on Twitter um, with allegations against Datsik. And after that, it sort of just snowballed. More and more women were coming forward with stories about situations they were in with him uh, that alleged at sexual assault, sexual misconduct. Um, there were posts on Facebook where it was just like thread after thread of comments and stories that were sort of catching fire with pointing out what his character might actually be like that people didn't realize. At this point, I believe there have been no official files charged against him. However, that doesn't mean that there isn't some truth to all these stories. Uh, I think right now it's a very telling time with the Me Too movement happening and with the Harvey Weinstein thing and there's just been so much thing, so much of this happening in our culture and in the United States right now that when when enough people come forward and voice their struggles and things that had happened to them and share their stories and the volume here was pretty pretty deafening um, I think that you do have to pay attention to the people that come forward and you can't just dismiss it as something that well he wasn't officially charged with anything so that means he's completely innocent I think there is enough evidence here to prove at least at the end of the day that there is some truth to what these women have said um, and that his character really should be in question because he sort of had some things that he tweeted himself uh, and some of his responses to the situation that are pretty damning towards his character. So at the end of the day, he may not have been charged with anything officially, but I think his character and judgment is seriously in question. After all of this had happened, he had a tour happening. So the other artists that were on tour with him pulled out of the tour. I believe it was Space Jesus and Riot 10. His management dropped him. And then the record label that he was on that I believe he founded or co-founded, he stepped down from his role in the label. So all of this happened within a matter of days. It really went nuts. People went in on him on Twitter as they should have. Some tweets were resurfaced from his past that to me, you know, you can take it for what it is, but that right there was enough. Um, and then I think the, the cherry on top of the cake for all of this is there were a couple photos that went around um, that were enough evidence for a lot of people. Uh, women were sharing their pictures of these backstage passes that they received. 
um, on Datsik's tour and on the name it said Tulsa which later came out that Tulsa is spelled a slut backwards so again whether you're, you're a fan of his or not I'm just trying to present to you guys all of the information here at that time for me personally I had heard and seen enough I wasn't a fan of his anyways like I maybe had a few songs on my like iPod at the time, but I wasn't really a big fan of his anyways. And then after that, I was like the blatant disrespect against women along with all of these allegations of com completely taking advantage of the position that you were in, the power that you had, um, and, and basically being a really shitty human being. I That was enough for me to be like, yeah, I want nothing to do with this person. Um, I'm not really a person who does internet bullying. I'm not a troll. I choose to not like sound off in comments and make it an even more negative place. That's just not me. I'm not that way now. You guys, you feel free to react however you want. I'm just not a person that like jumps on the bandwagon and is going to be like telling someone to kill themselves and all these other things. Like, for me, make my own decision to step back and be like, I'm not going to support you. I'm not going to listen to your music. I'm not going to go to your shows. That's how I will show my response to you and who I think that you are. So anyway, just a couple things I wanted to highlight from back then. So at the time, a lot of other artists um, in the EDM community came forward and voiced their opinion. A lot of female artists, obviously Rez at the time said, if what I hear is true, then of course I think it's an absolute horrendous and big, big mistake. Cruella said, yo bro, your deception isn't fooling anyone but yourself. Own up to your actions and accept the consequences. Have some fucking honor. Alice in Wonderland tweeted, here's the thing, don't be a dickhead and I shall support you as a human. So they all sounded off. Um, there was also some great posts. I really liked what Excision had said at the time. Again, this was back in March 2018. He said, hey everyone, in light of the allegations against some of the other names in the industry, I want to be clear that I do not support nor condone any of the behavior that has been mentioned in the stories going around today. Those who know me personally know I don't like partying after shows and I don't drink. I don't say this to be holier than thou, it's just a personal preference and a lifestyle that has brought me success and happiness as a person. I think that today's news is a necessary wake up call that will bring awareness to an important topic. I'm thankful for my long term girlfriend, the hard working women and men on my touring and management teams and the headbanger community worldwide. I mean excision right there is like a class act. I think he highlighted on one thing that I think was missing from Datsik's apology video which I'll get into in a second which is highlighting and respecting women in your life in the industry. So with all that being said the cherry on top of the cake this is the second cherry at this point. At that time Datsik himself responded on March 14th 2018 at 4 16 p.m. he posted this on his social media accounts. This was his response to all the allegations. Yo everyone, this is a very serious matter to me. There have been recent allegations against me for things I have not done. I am a vibe reader. I hang out with a ton of people after every show and always keep a positive vibe. I would never bend anyone against their will and I mean that shit. I'm an adult. I have seen and been through it all. But these claims are shaking me to the core. This type of shit is detrimental to my persona as I truly take pride in being myself and being honest. I want everyone to know that I am being the best Datsik I can as well as being the best Troy I can be. You should know that our tour is a safe and fucking rad zone for us all. It really breaks my heart when people feel upset at the end of the day because I am a good person and would never take advantage of anyone. Let me be straight up. I don't condone that kind of behavior and I also care about every single person that I meet on the real. I know this is a sensitive subject and I am also a sensitive dude. So please say what you must, but honestly, I want you to know that this shit means the world to me. This is my life and my passion as I know it. I care so much about my fans and my music and what you all think of me. I will make a bigger effort to make sure that nothing I do will be misinterpreted in the future. So that alone, I have so many thoughts on. Obviously, that did not go well. That was not received well. That was sort of just like him digging his grave even deeper. Um, the whole like talk of his persona and being the best Datsik I can be like put your ego aside and just be a human being and talk about yourself not your persona um and the whole like I'm a vibe reader and my stuff is fucking rad like it just wasn't a very professional response in my humble opinion um and to say things like I, I will do different things that won't be misinterpreted I mean, writing a slut on people's names. Like, it just clearly shows in his character. Oh, and the tweets that he had tweeted that surfaced 
he tweeted something in 2011 rape is such a strong term i prefer the term struggle snuggle and he tweeted in 2011 en route to tulsa tulsa spelt backwards is a slut say what you want about the allegations against him and him not being charged with anything again like i don't think it's fair to be like somebody's guilty until proven innocent it's supposed to be the other way around they're innocent until proven guilty so i'm not here to pass judgment on that i'm just saying there was enough evidence of him being a shitty human being and i'm personally not supporting that and also after he was dropped from everything, the silence in the community, none of his friends or colleagues, like there was no outpouring of support of, for him as a person, which I think is really interesting because I think silence can be deafening and the amount of people who didn't really like step up to be like, no, that's not what this person is like at all. None of that's true, blah, blah, blah. Like you didn't hear that. So it's kind of bringing into question, like, did all these people know these things about him? Do you know what I mean? Like. Either way, you have to listen to what victims are saying and when enough people come forward, you cannot ignore them. And you can't just say at the end of the day, well, um, they never went to the police, so it wasn't a real accusation. Like that's victim blaming and you're lessening these women's stories. So whew, I'm gonna get heated in this video. Anyway, let's talk about his apology video that came out that was seven minutes long. Um, I'm not surprised that he's back. I knew it was gonna happen at some point because again like if this is his dream and his passion is making music There was no way he was gonna just like roll over and never come back again. He waited a long amount of time It's almost been two years um, I mean the first thing I noticed in the video was he looked very different his hair color had changed I mean the lighting was fucking awful to be honest with you, but that's just me as like a video editor sitting here I like couldn't see him that well, but Either way, um, so he basically just spoke about what he's been up to and what has happened since. Um, it was obviously something he was reading from a script, which I'm fine with a script because he has a, a lot to say and it's been a long time, so that's one thing, but I also think it was carefully written probably with um, lawyers in mind because he can't really say anything that could get him in trouble. He also has enough of a following that at the end of the day, no matter what happened, Sorry, my dog's behind me. No matter what happened in this situation, these people were gonna defend him till the end. Like, they weren't gonna listen to both sides. Um, you know, they were just gonna believe him no matter what. And as a person in a powerful position, you see this time and time again. Um, it's really hard for people to come forward and share their stories because the other person is up here and took advantage of um, the position that they were in. And especially someone who's a musician who has fans to take advantage of fans and people who love your music i just think is a really shitty thing to do um but anyway so he goes on with his apology he addressed that he's had like a lot of issues with mental health i'm pretty sure some people talked about him having a drinking problem but he doesn't talk about that in the video but obviously you guys know like a lot of djs who party after their shows and things like that like you can definitely get caught up in everything that's going on around you and it can be really bad combination for a lot of people that's why you'll see some djs who are backing out of touring right now because it's too much on their mental health and it's not a safe environment for them as it should be for other people so he said he went and got help um it said it sounded like he went to sort of some sort of facility to help with all of these issues um he never he apologizes in the video but he doesn't apologize to the women it was way more about me 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 where i've been what i'm doing than even saying like none of this was true like this was defamation on my character like none of that happened there wasn't any of that in there um i kind of wish he had a response more like excision where he was like i love the women in my life there are so many incredible women in this industry i was i, I kind of wish he just owned it and it wasn't a script and he was like i was a shitty human being i let my position and my persona get the best of me i had an ego i treated women with disrespect and i had some really fucking shitty things and made some horrible decisions and i took a step back after losing everything realized who i was went and got help for it and now i'm like trying to change the game and be a better example that's what i wish he would have said um to me it was more a little bit like pity party ish and you know 
mental health aside, I'm not going to sit here and be like, he's using mental health as an excuse because I do not think that that's fair. I think people can have mental health issues, anxiety, whatever it is, and we cannot sit here and be like, that's not valid. He's using that as an excuse. We don't know him personally, so I don't think it's fair to say that either. However, I don't feel bad for him. Um, I think that he made some decisions in his life that led up to this point. So I'm, I don't feel bad that your career went down the tubes. I think if you treated people decently, then it wouldn't have been in this position in the first place. Um, again, I wasn't really a fan then. I'm not a fan now. I'm not about to go listen to his music or go to his shows. Like I said, I'm also not a person that's jumping on the bandwagon and that's going to blow up his comments with hate. I don't think that that helps anything at all. Again, you guys can feel free to react how you want. Please sound off in the comments. I just will not participate in further putting out hate in the world. I'd rather move on. I don't believe in cancel culture. That's my personal opinion. I think that people can change. So who knows? Time will tell. That's really all that you can do. Time will tell. We'll see what happens with him. Again, I'm not really going to be watching because I don't really care too much. But um, yeah, I, I don't think it helps at all to just further shit all over him. I think we just see what happens. Um, and again, you guys as my subscribers, I know are such wonderful people. You always leave me the most incredible comments. We have such a good bond together. So I just don't want to see you guys, you know, writing things that you'll regret either. You know what I mean? Whew. I said a lot. Sorry I rambled on for 20 minutes. I, I knew I had a lot of thoughts here. So I just, I don't want... It to come off the wrong way but this is everything that I think about what has been presented in front of me from back then to now again you guys use your own judgment um, I didn't think it was a great apology video I don't even know if it was an apology video I think we should be remembering the women in this situation who came forward because I think that they're getting swept under the rug a little bit here um, and I think the defense is starting to come up for Datsik now but Hear both sides of the story, decide for yourself, and let's all make this community a better place, and let's support the artists and the people in this community who are doing good things, who don't have to make shitty decisions to be a decent human being, because it costs zero dollars to be a good person. So that's where you, 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 me, we come in, um, because people in those positions uh, get there because of our support of us buying their tickets of us supporting their music going to their shows So, you know really choose wisely and be careful with who you support. <sighs> okay, you guys I think that's everything I have to say so I, at the end of the day I just want this to be a better community I want us to have some good people that we're looking up to and that we're supporting and putting the spotlight on and I want to make sure that people who share their stories and experiences um, are heard and they're not ignored and they're not called liars. Uh, I just think that that's really fucked up and I think women are tired of it and it's time that we all band together and use our voices for something good and positive in this world. So thank you guys so much for watching here till the end. Uh, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I normally put out a podcast every Wednesday on my YouTube channel. I'm pushing it back a little bit today because I want to put this up first thing this morning. So if you guys would be interested, um, we're trying to spread, po spread positive vibes all the time on Rave Culture Podcast. It comes out every Wednesday. Appreciate you guys supporting it. It'll be up later today for those of you waiting for it. And thank you guys. Again, please sound off in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.